Hi, Rita Bearcat here with the Shimmers Education Team, and today we're going to talk about modeling paste and Shimmers Vibes. What I did here is on a piece of cardboard, I put some modeling paste in three different places. And the Shimmers Vibes that I used are the Blue Jean, the Grape Escape, and we will be using the Sea Monkey in a little bit. Um, while this one was still wet, I wanted to see what would happen, so I went ahead and sprayed um, the Shimmers Vibes on top, and what it did was created a lot more nooks and crannies in here. I don't know if you can see that, I hope so. And um, a really uneven surface. And then on this one, what I did was, is I mixed the shimmers into the modeling paste and it created a more opaque look. Um, and it did take away the shimmers, so I wasn't real happy about that. Um, but if you want a matte look, that worked. Um, I also added, um, because it took away the shimmer, I wanted to see if the pearls or the shimmers would add it back into it. So I mixed a little bit of lilac um, into the modeling paste and it did. This one does have the shimmers back into it. Now the pearls didn't so that it just created a darker look, opaque, no shine. Um, and then this one right here is I let the modeling paste dry overnight and then I sprayed it like 24 hours later um, with the vibes and this is the color we got and it's very even even tone, you can see the texture is flat, you can see the color is even. So this is the one that um, I liked for this project and that's what we're gonna do today. So first I have a piece of cardboard here and I kind of ripped up some pieces off it and then I covered it with gesso um, just because like you see here, when you spray the shimmers onto the cardstock by itself, it's not a really pretty look and I wanted a really vibrant look like this. Um, so instead of using the modeling paste over the entire area, I just want some of the areas to have texture, um, but I want the whole entire area to be white so that we can have a nice clean look. So I'm going to take, oh, our crafters workshop template. Oh, here it is. <laughs> our crafters template. Um, this can be used with your sprays and you can mist onto it just like a stencil. Um, but today we're gonna use it with the modeling paste and I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm going to take the modeling paste and I'm gonna wipe it right on top and just spread it and it doesn't, this does not have to be perfect. If it was perfect, I wouldn't be doing it because I get kind of messy in my projects. So I'm just gonna spread this on here, pretty thick. Um, this is very thick and it will, you have to move it. It's not going to run on you. Um, and just kind of hold your little template into place. And it's not going to be perfect. We are just creating texture here. Okay. And over the edges. And I'm going to lift this up. And you can see it left me some texture there okay and then I'm just gonna flip it over because I don't like waste and I'm just gonna shove this down and it's kind of coming through the holes like I said it's a little messy but hey you know we have to have fun right and I'll lift that up and I'm gonna set this side on here and you can see it just created another design this and I'm just going to take the smalling paste and just kind of put it wherever I am really thinking that I want my picture in the bottom right hand corner of this layout so I'm going to kind of create a background for that to happen and so I'm just spreading it wherever I mean seriously does not matter. It's all good. I also have these flowers from Petaloo and they have these great white ones, which is very, very cool for shimmers because you can paint it whatever color you want. Um, but because I am who I am and I'm a messy scrapbooker and I like color and kinds of fun stuff, I'm going to use uh, these color ones too because I wanted different shapes and I didn't have the white ones. 
in the colors. So I'm just going to stick this on here. And it will stick to it. It will adhere it. it when it dries. It's all going to be together. And I'm just going to stick these little flowers wherever. So here's what we have. And we would set this aside to dry for 24 hours. So because we don't have 24 hours, we are going to switch this out. I did one yesterday and you can see everything's on there and it's dry and it's not going anywhere, okay? So here's the fun part that we all love because we love shimmers. And we are going to take the different color shimmers and just spray random. And what I love about shimmers is that if it gets on your counters or anything, it wipes right off. If it gets on your clothes or your hands, it washes right out. I mean, this is such a great product. You don't have to worry about staining. And we're, I'm just spraying, it's very random. I'm not, I do want to come, cover all my white spots. And you can see these colors complement each other very well. And maybe go back in here a little bit. Okay. And so now we have our canvas, our background, or our pattern paper that we just created. Okay. On top of this, We would wait for this to dry, and then I would add a pretty little picture right here. Okay, and I'm just going to add a couple of stickers right on top. And there you have it. Piece of cake. So I hope you'll try it. Modeling paste, shimmers, match me in heaven. Thanks for watching.